for this multi-layer Kit Kat bar because you know Kit Kat has a few different layers. So we're going to start with the crust, right? Yeah. So we're going to take some chocolate and we're going to melt it. Now when you melt chocolate, you got to do something called a double boiler, meaning you take a pot, have water on it just like this, put another pot or another uh, uh, blah, 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 mixing bowl over it, put the chocolate there because you don't want direct contact between the heat and the chocolate because it's not going to melt properly. Take the chocolate, melt it down, and um, then we're going to actually mix it with some crushed uh, hazelnuts, crushed peanuts, peanut butter, and, and crushed cornflakes. And these are uh, crushed toasted hazelnuts, right? Yes, yeah. correct. Okay. Crushed toasted hazelnuts, crushed flakes, glucose, peanut or peanut, peanut oil, oil and, and peanut, peanut butter. butter. And peanut butter. Now you can also use hazelnut oil to give that hazelnut flavor, whatever it is that you can get. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, so we know about the first layer. Second layer is going to be chocolate, not too hot. And it's going to be combined with cream that's not been whipped, but not to a very stiff consistency. So like sort of slightly aerated ganache. Yeah, you don't want it to be so stiff that it's like a chocolate truffle center. Um, it's still spreadable and pourable when you form that second layer. So when it sets up in the fridge, it's going to be very silky and velvety. Right. Okay. And the espresso paint is just um, melted chocolate mixed with corn syrup, cream, Espresso coffee and a little bit of liquor? Yeah. To to well, the liquor is for the chef, really. Okay. <laughs> yeah. and, and it forms a, a sort of a thick oil paint kind of consistency. Correct. Is that right? That's it's it. Something ah. like this. Okay. Have you seen a lot of recipes that call for four cups of wine, but only three are used in the recipe? You ever wonder? Okay, note that the recipe you have in your pack is a little bit more involved. So obviously, because we're running out of time, we are speeding this up a little bit. But follow the recipe as written, yep. and you should get great results. Well, so far, we're sticking with it, no? Uh, or have we cut anything well, out? In the pack, the, the peanut butter and the oil are mixed together first before the chocolate is added. Oh, stop. <laughs> 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 but that was good. Uh, it's thank you. It's actually the same process. Actually, yeah. you're oh, actually so, bringing so up the heat okay. of the chocolate, and then when you melt the peanut butter, it will be more... Right, so yeah. it doesn't actually matter then. Yeah. Okay, so Let's you can not do be it anal way. about it. <laughs> right, can we just tilt it towards the camera for a second? You can see how it's become like wet sand. Yeah. Yeah. This is a really nice recipe though. Really nice base. Okay, Michelle. You have more melting ability for you. How, how thick should the layer be? Uh, Probably maybe in three quarters of an inch or so, half an inch. Yeah, around half an inch. Okay, so yeah. about 1.25 cm. <laughs> okay, so that's our base. Yeah. And uh, now we're melting our, our, our second level. That's going to be mixed with the cream, which I guess we're not going to whip because we don't really have whipping ability exactly, right? The cake, Kit Kat, please. Yeah. Okay. So, so you sift cocoa powder on top first. Just a slight piece. Okay, and then yeah. you brush some glaze on top. Can so you can you use glaze. can you use the espresso paint if you haven't got a mirror glaze? Because mm. we don't have that recipe in here. Well, you can use any any yeah. sort of chocolate ganache. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna use that as the bottom of our plate. Take our Kit Kat. Put on that. We've taken um, maltose, which is uh, sort of a tapioca derivative, and when you mix it with fat, it kind of breaks into this powder of sorts. Um, so like fat powder, it really only works with things that are fat. So we took Nutella, peanut butter, mm. mix this with this derivative in a food processor, um, and then you create this little dust mm. thing. So this molecular ingredient, maltodextrin it's called, it's a particular kind of uh, um, starch that is able to absorb large quantities of fat. So it can convert any fatty substance like Nutella or peanut butter to a powder. Maybe I should eat some, huh? <laughs>